Jackson commented perhaps the brand was a little bit trashed against Hawthorne. Do you feel that was more your trademark footy despite the fact that you lost tonight? Yeah, look, I think it was. You know, for three quarters, I thought um, you know, we brought our intensity and in the, the way that we want to play. Clearly, we still need to add some polish to what we're doing, you know, the, um, the way we're moving the ball. And, um, but I thought, in general, our intensity around the contest was strong, um, you know, right up until the last quarter. So it was, uh, it was a step forward in that respect. But, you know, we're under no illusions what we're up against, too. Uh, a footy club that's that's pretty strong at the moment and they play the game right out and that's something we've got to keep chipping away at. How did you address the last quarter fade out with the boys just then? Oh, it's just what the game demands. You've got to keep playing for longer. Um, so, yep, the effort and the intensity and the way we wanted to play was better. But, you know, it's got to be sustained for a longer period of time and, um, you know, we're probably more looking at it. it was a step forward from last week. You know, I thought last week didn't resemble anything of the way we wanted to play. This week was a step forward for three quarters. I thought the effort and intensity um, was strong all night um, until, until the last quarter. But you know, there's clearly some things we've got to work on. You know, our inside 50, our connection with the ball. Um, but I thought our defenders really stood up for us tonight for, for big parts of the game. When you say three quarters, how did you rate that second quarter? Oh, look, we hung in there. You know, I think that's what the game sometimes needs you to do. I thought our defenders were really good for that quarter. We, we hung in there. Um, we couldn't connect with the ball. Um, so, yeah, look, the second quarter wasn't our best footy. But sometimes you're not going to play your best footy, but you hang in there, and that's what we did. Um, so, as I said, I can't fault the boys. I thought Richmond were very good for the whole game. You know, they're, they're a strong footy club. They play a really strong brand. They absorbed our pressure incredibly well, and, and they clearly used the ball better going inside forward 50. I realise you can't blame missing Jack Viney, but you feel you need him back to contend around the ball with these top sides, particularly Richmond and the like? I hope he's handy. You know, he's, a, he's a really good player, Jack. Um, and there's no doubt with the young midfield group that we've got, um, we need our experienced guys. He's a captain of our footy club, uh, along with Nathan Jones. So when you're missing a guy like that for long periods of time, you, you miss him. So we need him back. We need him playing well and inspiring our midfield. I sense that... A step forward after a 46-point loss might frustrate some fans who maybe thought that this was a year that the team might really charge towards the top of the ladder. Oh, look, I can understand our supporters, yeah, but I think you've got to sort of break the game down a bit further. Our last quarter was disappointing, but I thought, it, you know, from where we were last week to where we are this week, um, I think the fans would be pretty happy with the effort and intensity for three quarters. You know, I couldn't fault some of their contest work. Um, but, you know, I think in the end we, we played a pretty good footy team that did it for longer. I think there was a point in that second quarter, though, where you lost 10 of 11 clearances. Mm. Um, and you're saying you sort of hung in there and you, you felt like that was still a decent quarter. Yeah. I mean, is that, does that concern you, though, to lose that sort of number? Yeah, we need to maximise Max's dominance in the ruck, you know, our connection around the footy here, uh, which will help drive our offence is important to us. Um, and it's not there at the moment, so it's something we're working on, um, and that'll turn. That'll turn. You know, we've just got to keep working at it um, as a group, as a group of players and a group of coaches. But um, and we will. We'll keep working on it. Good people will say it too. Promising signs for Jake Lever. Yeah, they were. You know, I thought he was terrific tonight. Yeah. You know, I thought that was back to his trademark play. You know, we said it would take a period of time to to get him back into his best form and working with our defenders. And I thought for the large majority of the night, they, they held up pretty well, our defenders. You know, Oscar McDonald, I thought, played a really strong game, um, as did Jake. We need to give Jake some patience. I mean, it's, you know, it's settling into a, a, with a new, with new teammates. Does that take time for cohesion? Yeah, it does. And we, we spoke about that three weeks ago, that it takes time. And I, th I think you saw tonight that he's starting to find that cohesion and he's starting to have an impact on the game. And, um, you know, I was really happy with Jake tonight. Jesse Ogden, um, we know his work rate comes with Bolton, but it felt like when he went forward, um, especially in that third quarter, it really straightened things up a little bit. Is the hope that he will spend more time pushing forward, especially when Viney comes back in, for example? Yeah, look, I think he probably would have played 70% of the night forward in general. So, um, you know, we used him in midfield tonight when we weren't getting much run through our midfield. But in the majority of the time he was forward. I thought, um, you know, Jake Melksham did a great job for a period of time on, on Alex Rance. Um, but, you know, Alex is a great player and he fought back into the game really strongly. So, um, but, you know, Jesse's a, a player that we need playing well, um, both, you know, as, as a forward and up through the middle of the ground. Sam Wiedemann um, showed some really good signs, went very hard at it. Yeah, promising signs for Weeds. You know, he's um, had a really strong, you know, five or six weeks, 
you know, getting himself fit and ready for AFL footy. And I think you'd see his body shape's changed a lot, and he's he looks like an AFL player now. So he moved really strongly for us. He was really promising for us. Could he on paper? It looks like a talent filled side. Is it a case of continuing to tinker with the game plan just to get it to click? I think you know, talent's one thing. Getting them to work and um, you know, continue to, to build to be their best is really important and build the fundamentals and the habits they're going to do that um, and that's where we're at we're still building those habits and, and the fundamentals required to, to build a really strong footy team um, we've still got work to do in, in those areas so um, as coaches and as a footy department we'll keep chipping away at those um, but you know as I said I reckon it's not too far away for this group I think it was four or five or five or six at the J is that a concern at all? That's a new stat to me, yeah, so um, no, it's no concern. What is your preparation look like between now and Sunday? Yeah, look, five days, so we've got to recover really strongly. Um, we've got to learn a little bit out of the game, but obviously, obviously prepare for Sunday as best we can. You know, freshen our boys up, um, have you know, some great learning and education around what the game should look like next weekend and, and get out there and play four quarters of strong footy. Do you have a training session? Yeah, we'll have, we'll have some training sessions, probably you know, a really light run um, on Thursday and another one just before the, the day before the game. Dean had the only injury concern, major injury concern tonight? Yeah, no, Dean did a hamstring, so um, he'll be out for a period of time. Um, at this stage, it looks like just a standard hamstring, so we'll wait and see what the medicos say. Thanks, Simon. Cheers, guys. Thanks, Simon.